Greetings, everyone. I'd like to talk to you today about astigmatism. So astigmatism means, in terms of the eye, that there is an asymmetrical shape in the eyeball. But I describe astigmatism as a twist, a twist in the eye, but it also reflects a twist in the body. Now, this could be in terms of the spine, scoliosis, an asymmetrical pattern in the pelvic rim or the pelvis. And over the years, uh, working with astigmatism, what I have found is that um, using craniosacral therapy and helping the body unwind actually helps the eye unwind and the astigmatism will release. What happens in most cases is that when you are measured for astigmatism and you start wearing a lens, it embeds the, uh, the twisting pattern, so to speak. And once it locks in, it's very difficult to then unwind the eye without unwinding the body. Now, in terms of uh, craniosacral therapy, it's very interesting. What I would do with people is I would measure their visual acuity and get a baseline reading of their eyesight. And then I would do a, a cranial treatment. And then I would remeasure their eyesight. And most of the time, the astigmatism correction would be reduced or even gone, and their eyesight would be much better. So this showed me that the body pattern really reflects what's going on in the eyes. Now, there's certain kinds of twisting in the eye in terms of astigmatism. There's a vertical twist, which uh, I've been able to uh, map uh, around um, having difficulties, traumas in the prenatal period or in birth or delivery, that there's been some issue going on there that creates the vertical twisting and astigmatism. In terms of horizontal astigmatism, that's based more on a bonding issue uh, with mom, bonding and attachment in the first few years of life. So if there's been some interference, say incubation, uh, where the, the newborn has to be taken away from mom, or just some difficulty with bonding, the astigmatism along the horizontal meridian uh, is usually um, uh, is, is there. And then we have the diagonal astigmatism, and say, for example, between the 2 and 8 meridian, that diagonal, uh, if astigmatism develops along that, uh, that meridian, then there can be some issue with bonding with dad. It's a very early um, imprint there. And if the diagonal is in the opposite, where it's between the 10 o'clock, 4 o'clock meridian, uh, then there's usually some issue with, uh, with mom. So there's a lot of imprints that, that happen uh, in our life, especially in the pre-verbal, that actually set the stage for having different eye problems later on. One of the practices that I'm going to teach you today, it's a very simple practice, and I've taken this from uh, Continuum Movement and uh, Emily Conrad's work. Uh, this is a, a little practice that I do with the eyes that actually helps reduce the twisting. So I'm going to explain it to you, and um, it's very simple to do. What you do is you lie down and your eyes are closed, and then you place your eyes at the 12 o'clock position of a clock. So both eyes are pointing upwards towards the 12 o'clock. And then you slowly just track your eyes around the edge of the eyeballs, going around very slowly with both eyes in a clockwise rotation, and then in a counterclockwise, counterclockwise rotation. And then once you've done that, you rest. And maybe take a minute and just reflect on moving your eyes in that particular way, you're going to notice that the muscles around the eyes are going to start to release and relax and the muscles around the face. Now, once you've had that resting, which we call open attention and continuum, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your tongue and you're going to place it on the roof of the mouth. Now, the tongue is really um, interesting because the tongue is the highest part of the spinal column. It's also prevertebral tip prevertebral tissue, which means that uh, this activates very early in utero uh, energies. And when you place the tongue at the uh, soft palate of the roof, you are contacting the pineal gland, 
and the pineal is very tight in to the eyes. And as you press into the roof of the mouth, the tissue that's been compressed will relax. So the thing is, is that what, what we're saying here is that in terms of the, um, the astigmatism pattern, it's actually very easy to reverse it as long as you don't start wearing lenses to embed the problem. And I encourage you to try this practice. You could try it before bed. Uh, you could do it, uh, say, for three weeks, and you'll start noticing that the eye tissue loosens up, and it's um, very, very cool in terms of changing patterns. Thank you.